Today we're here at the 2023 RV Super Show here in Tampa, Florida, and this week we are focusing all on prototypes, the latest in technology and the latest in, in trends. Yes, especially brand new floor plans mm -hmm. that just came out this year. Super excited about it. One of them is a front living and front office, oh, yeah. which we're stoked about. And also um, a toy hauler that mm -hmm. has a convertible barn A convertible, top. yeah, I convertible mean, garage. Never heard that before. We're super excited to share that with you. So let's go and hit the ground. Let's go. Every day. We're here at Keystone RV and we're going to be taking a look at the Fusion 421 with a convertible garage. Hot on the market, totally different. We're going to take a quick look. Yes, so. Then it turns into the bed. Yes, so what it is, is so you got a bar and this is on wheels. Um, and so you can wheel it out onto the no patio, way. you can move it wherever you like. But the biggest thing here is once you move these bar stools, and I'll show you, this actually folds down and makes into a bed, and then it still goes up into the happy jack and gets completely out of the way, so you can still pull your toys That's and everything fantastic. else like that. In there as well. So you can roll that anywhere. Yeah, you can roll it anywhere you want. So it's it's on wow. it's on casters. And these little legs make it pretty easy just to, wow. to wheel out. Except like you want to wheel it out on the patio or anything yeah. else. Yes. Um, yeah. How cool. That's amazing. Great, this is a great workstation. Yeah, stand-up workstation. Well, exactly. It's one of those things where every garage is set up currently the same way. Everyone's got these roll-out Happy Jack beds, and you sit here and kind of stare at each other. Yeah. And it's just, it works, but we wanted to try to be flexible and give a different space. So yes. every Fusion now has the option for this. If you don't want it, you can still get the normal sofas, but you can have option in this bar okay. as well. So awesome. if you just unlatch each uh -huh. side, uh -huh. then you're all sleeping on this other side. Okay. This just goes... This whole thing, and it's hinged, oh, so it's wow. lightweight, but this just comes down, and that bar top kind of becomes your headboard of your bed. Yeah. And then this comes down, and now you've got big sleeping space for the kids or anybody yeah. else. and you can move that, you know, if you don't like your company, you just move them outside. Exactly, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Push them outside. But this, this top bunk comes down as well, okay. so you still have... Um, you know, bunks over queen over queen bunks, yeah. and then it just folds back up and makes back into that bar. Oh, okay, that's pretty fantastic. What a great idea! Whoever came up with that, that's pretty neat. Thank you very much. Yes, that's pretty cool. Awesome, I like it. I do love it um, for the workspace, yeah. and that it's an actual bed as well. It, we love having things that are too functioning. You know, yes. I mean, you gotta have that in this lifestyle. In this lifestyle, <laughs> you have to have things that are multifunctional. Yes. yes, and that's our thought is. You can utilize it as a workstation, you can utilize it as a little bar, yeah. you can wheel it out and use it as a cook spot, whatever it is that you kind of think yeah, of, you can utilize it for idea. anything you want. That's awesome. I think this is probably the biggest living room space I've seen in a toy hauler. So this is our brand new wow. Fusion 421. And yeah, what we tried to do is give you the, the good viewing angle still to the TV, yeah. but give you all of this kitchen space. I mean, we wanted to make sure we gave you a big wraparound kitchen with plenty of storage. Yeah, that's fantastic. I mean, wow. This feels like a home, actually. because And that was because we've been looking into toy haulers ever since we got started. And uh, we've never found one that actually feels like a home. Mm -hmm. Most of the time it feels like a garage. Yep. And you have this tiny itty bitty living space and you're like, wow, that doesn't really work for us. But we really do ha like having that extra axle. Yeah, because so, you like said, like you mentioned, you want that space for your kids uh -huh. in the back, right? Where it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be a toy or it can be a bunk hall or it can be whatever it is that you need with that half bath, but you still need that living room space to work. So yeah. one of the things we've done on this floor plan is we've got little bar stools that made up, made up to the bar here. Yeah. But it's really, got, I'll show you here on the storage, is you've got a big giant coffee bar, wow. um, but then this actually still has, you know, pull out drawers like you would you know, you'd see at your, your home. So we try to make sure that we equip this unit for the most amount of cooking space that we do on any other floor plan. Hey Lee, I think you might get your espresso bar in the future after all. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. I love the bar as well, so you have another workspace. 
you know, yeah. which is also another we're a working family. You know, we have homeschooling, we have work from home. So to have the, the multiple stations to work at was actually pretty fantastic. Absolutely. And like you said, the back is insulated. Yep. So I don't have to worry about the girls being too cold or too warm. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's going to have I its own it. heat run out there. It's going to have its own AC that's actually dedicated just strictly for the garage area that's not tied in here. Because this specific unit, uh -huh. all of our fusion come with three air conditioners. Uh -huh. um, and they'll all simultaneously run. But it's nice because the the bedroom and the living room are connected together. They're ducted together. Yeah. And then the garage space is its own. So the girls can set that temperature for whatever ah, they want. And that's you can keep awesome. it separate from in here. That's fantastic. So standard on all 2023 Keystone. Doesn't matter whether it's a Fusion, a Montana, any brand. We do 200 amp hour Dragonfly lithium batteries standard. And those are heated as well. So you'll have a switch inside for um, to run heat. But every 2023 will now come standard. That's fantastic. Wow. Never heard that before. We're always in a hurry to hook back up the rig. You know, we, we say it's on life support. Yeah. <laughs> because the battery only lasts like two hours. <laughs> yeah. So we've done with like with Fusion specifically, you know, all of our Keystones come standard with a SolarPlex 200 system. So one 200 watt solar panel. And then you can option into our oh, SolarPlex wow. 400. And that would be two 200 watt panels, an inverter. And then you have seven dedicated outlets that will run off of, off of that. And when that comes with a 50 MPPT controller, and then you also have can get up to our 60, our, our, excuse me, our SolarPlex 600 system as well, and that'll have 600 watts of solar on top. So okay, depending wow. on how what you want to do with solar, we have all sorts of different options to, to upgrade, but one of the key things there is the batteries, right? Yes. And that's why we talk about the, that all of our units here comes here with those 200 amp hour Dragonfly batteries, because the solar is great, but it's all about loading up the, the correct battery, and we want to make yeah. sure that we're giving you the right one with those lithium batteries. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> the Fusion was absolutely fantastic. Love it. It. Anytime you get a convertible garage, best of all worlds, not both worlds, that's my party place. So right now we're going to head over to a different section and we're going to look at a Montana that has a front office. Game changer. Let's take a look. So yes, yeah, so this is our 3941 front office, and one of the things that we wanted to do was still give you a normal front living. I mean, that's something that we pride ourselves here at Montana that does a good job. So this is our, our normal front living setup with tri-fold sofas, so you've got plenty of sleeping space yeah. here. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but this looks down onto our, our big um, kitchen. What we did in this kitchen as well is we eliminated the island and went to two big pull-out drawers. And that way you still have plenty of countertop space, yeah. but it's condensed down a little bit so you don't have that big island in the center. And then the biggest thing that we will, that we love about this floor plan is the fact that there's a front office. I mean, as we talked about as we're walking over here, through the pandemic, I mean, there's so many more people that have hit the road mm -hmm. working remotely. And whether I that's, well, just like you guys, whether that's mm -hmm. full-time, whether it's part-time, whatever the case may yeah. be. And then you guys have gotten really creative on, here, I'm going to set up my, my office on the dining room table yeah. or whatever else, or for you with kids working you know with schooling yeah. like how do you how, how do you, you give them the manage space all of them yeah yes mm -hmm. so what we want to do is give you a true dedicated office and what that does is you know, it's got a door that you can close off so when you're done when you're done you actually can close off and have that space so i'd love to showcase you guys this front office unbelievable a whole office just to yourself that's awesome so so front <laughs> living office right that hasn't happened in, in our industry at all and as we mentioned before we just want to make sure we gave you that space for a dedicated office that you can close this off so this has a barn door before we even show the kitchen this has a barn door that will close off to actually give you that space um but inside here a couple of things that i want to touch on is that you have spots for you know filing cabinets mm -hmm. you have a spot for a printer you have a cork board for um spots for pictures of the family whatever those things are you've got big window there's a panoramic window and that's one thing that i just realized too a lot of the front living units have that beautiful window but it hides behind the tv so what's the point of having it 
So right. you have to choose either do I want to watch TV or do I want to see this beautiful mountain? And uh, here you have the office and you can just sit in there with your coffee in the morning, even if you're not working, and just look out and see everything. It's fantastic. Come take a look. All right, so what's in the front office? So here we go. Set up for you know dual monitors, your laptop. You've got cords to run down, plug in. As I mentioned, you've got a cork board over here, a printer set up. You've got filing cabinets. You've got a window over here that opens for cross ventilation. You have AC vents here so that we can keep it nice and cold. But as she mentioned, I mean, can you imagine setting up and whether that's whatever your favorite campground is, whether you've got ocean background, a lake background, mountain background, whatever it is, do some work set up right here. And then once the day's over and once you're done working, you close this off and you're right back to enjoying what you're here for, which is camping and not having all of your work set up all over, all over the campsite. Oh my gosh, look at that view. I don't think I could concentrate working in here. It's so pretty. That's absolutely amazing. Having this office in your life, mm -hmm. I, I need this. All the extra storage is fantastic. And then it's actually an L-shaped um, desk. That's pretty awesome because, you, you know, sometimes you need to work with two screens. And it's, it's so great. And just like Nick said, you can close the door and forget about work and just enjoy camping when you're done with work instead of having it in the middle of the rig on the tables and everywhere else. So pretty fantastic. Love it. Look at that kitchen. I mean, you could make a cartwheel in here, especially because you don't have an island in here. It's actually movable um, extra space. So just like in the class A's. Yes. I've seen that in class A's before where a regular kitchen turned into an L-shaped kitchen with one of those drawers. So that's pretty neat. This is absolutely amazing. You have one and another one right by the sink. How cool is that? So with all the extra dishes you make, especially with a big family, you've got a lot more drying space. <laughs> You're absolutely right. That's where we pulled that off of is from the motorhomes because uh -huh. what we wanted to do was, you know, by giving you that office, we didn't want to sacrifice too much space in here. And that yeah. island just sometimes can get it congested. Yeah. So by wheeling these off, you still get plenty of countertop space, tons and tons of cabinetry yeah. on this side. This is going to showcase new in 2023. Montana now offers wow. the 24 inch Furion range, which has got it's almost like space. a residential it's all, one. Exactly. Yeah. Look at that oven. So this is all brand new for 2023. You can almost fit a turkey. Almost. <laughs> All right. Ready? Let's go to the top. Yeah, so king bed, you've got <laughs> hanging space, and then you have a washer dryer over here in the corner. Oh, and as oh. and this is a, a elevated rear bedroom, so the bedroom and the bathroom is elevated. The reason for that is because now underneath you get tons and tons of storage. You get a big oh. pull-out storage tray. There's actually a, an outside kitchen on this unit as well. It's got a 24-inch griddle as well as a 12-volt refrigerator drawer. And we nice. can do all that because this is raised, so that way you get all that external storage because, as we mentioned before, yeah. you can never have too much and storage. And as a pull-out drawer, you mean I don't have to dig in my basement for all my lights and everything anymore? Just pull out the tray and done? Exactly. That's awesome. And that's great for toolboxes too because right now he's got this really nice big toolbox in the basement but it's so hard to get to so when you can pull it out even I can get to it perfect now. exactly that's, that's the reason awesome. we do it and that's been one of those things that seems like more and more customers are looking for that pull-out storage tray so we've got yep. a, quite a few floor plans now that we've involved into for that rear rear storage as well All right, well let's go check it out let's take a look do you know what I love about this they have actually a pull-out drawer for the fridge because we have just a regular regular you know vertical fridge and things always fall out and it's just you you travel and you get to the place and you open it up and everything comes towards you so that won't happen with a drawer that's pretty awesome it is and it's a 12 volt 12 volt drawer so you're constantly getting power to that while, yes, you're, traveling. while you're traveling even when you're that's traveling fantastic. it's going to stay cold and then you that's get a nice awesome. 24 inch griddle that's tucked away in here as well i said all of that is possible by having that raised um oh, rear end and it comes out really far so you don't have to worry about the uh, grease dripping. Yep, and this will come out and this will slide down a little bit to get a, to a little bit better cooking height as well. Oh, oh yeah, it slides yeah. down, okay. Yep. That's and, then, awesome. and then we can look on another unit as well because this one's tucked away, but this is that big storage that I was referring to. So storage on both sides and that big pull-out drawer. Oh, wow. Let's go check it out. Yep. Look at this space. This is absolutely crazy. You can 
have your toolbox right here and you can actually open the lid and get to it. That's fantastic. Awesome. Nick from Keystone did a fantastic job looking at all the hottest models, all the latest in technologies, game changers in the industry, front office, convertible garages. So awesome. These are these are epic for 2023. I'm excited. We're heading right now to which one? The Raptor. We're going to the Raptor. Yes, let's go check it out. I guess it's a toy hauler, right? By now. <laughs> Raptor style. <laughs> All right, we're here with Ben at Keystone and we're looking at the Raptor. And he's going to kind of guide us through what's new to the market for this year and uh, yeah, what great features are on this Raptor. All right, so guys. On our 2023 Raptor and Carbon product by Keystone RV, some of the things that we wanted to encompass in those new units was safety, convenience, and fun. Um, now on the front end, you'll notice we went to a drop frame storage, which allowed us to then incorporate this top shelf there to highlight all of the solar flex technology that we introduced last year. Um, so now if those customers are looking to go from uh, the standard 200 to a four, six, or 12, mm -hmm. they're now gonna have that space there dedicated for those game changer lithium batteries that are gonna be 270 amp hours. So bigger okay. batteries, more space for that. Now, if let's say for instance, they're just gonna keep that 200 or 400, mm -hmm. all of that space in there will just be encompassed for storage. Okay. So you can see in here, once we put this up, this is where all of that would go, and then you're gonna have your disconnects as well as the inverter and then all of the preps for that. Uh, okay. But this will be on all of the 2023 units on both Raptor and Carbon. Okay, so brand new on the 2023 Raptors is a package called the LHP. Um, this package will stand for the long haul package, and then encompassing in that package is gonna be a whole host of safety, convenience, and fun features. One of those features is going to be on the side of the unit. You'll have that Furion side view camera. So to allow that retail customer to be able to hook up that screen to both sides. Okay. Just encompassing that safety feature for them as they're towing this thing down. So then another feature is obviously when you go to the campground, right? Mm -hmm. Typically you're hooking up to a water source that you may not know where it's from. Yep. And so in built in that long haul package, you'll have this blue technology water filtration system built into the unit. That's awesome. And so that's going to allow those customers, whether again, it's a safety feature or just convenience mm -hmm. to be able to hook up to that versus hooking in there and then having to add their own filter. That's um, awesome. There are gonna be aftermarket additional filters that they could get once they get to the end of that. But that's gonna be another one of those features on the LHP. Okay, so we're almost done with that LHP package. And one of the things that I would ask you guys is when you're camping, whether you've got bikes or side-by-sides, mm -hmm. motorcycles, how often are you wanting to fill up those tires with air? Yep. Uh, and so that was something that we put into that thought process um, with obviously toy haulers, motorcycle enthusiasts, outdoor enthusiasts. Yeah, awesome. So with this Moride air compressor, it's gonna be 125 PSI. Okay. Uh, it'll be full 12 volt, and then it'll be a two and a half gallon tank. And at 125 PSI, those tires fill up at 110. Uh -huh. And so again, now you can use it for your actual rig. Wow. You could probably use it for the tires on the vehicle, golf cart, side-by-side, -side, motorcycle, or a bicycle. Totally and so again, makes sense. Absolutely. So again, one of those convenience features where this one I could see kind of being the one where now every neighbor when you pull in is yeah, like, like hey, can you help you know, me out? run down over to Pamela and see if they'll fill up the tires yeah. for the kids. Thank you so much for giving us the tour. We really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful rig. Love all the new features. So it's definitely a contender. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, guys. And for the ultimate prototype. I can't wait to go in and see it. Let's go. Well, you can definitely do some cooking and do some dishes in here. That's fantastic. What an amazing layout. I love it. You've got an island right in the middle, huge couch. Yeah, I love the fixtures, the light fixtures. They're really pretty. Beautiful and kitchen. Big patio. And a storage up there, I guess you come. Yep, so it's another bed area or storage. It's a huge oh, loft. It's huge. That's awesome. I love that it's practical. Yes, and you have a, an area for a coffee pot which is nice and your uh, garage this is this one actually has the washer and dryer in here 
And then you've got a half bath back here, which is awesome. I love having that second bathroom. That's amazing. And it definitely keeps a lot of the theme going because you've got your full garage space. Uh-huh. And you've got a huge open floor layout as you go in. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Yeah, I love all the lights. I also love that they sectioned the patio further back. Uh-huh. Which is actually more practical. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I love it. That's fantastic. Let's go and look at the bedroom. Oh, okay. So I've noticed that a lot of the new uh, fifth wheels um, and toy haul, especially toy haulers, have this um, two-way entry to the bathroom, which is pretty cool. So, um, you know, if, if you have guests, they can still get into this bathroom without going into your bedroom. So that's pretty awesome. Huge night table, nightstand. That's really cool. Lots of cabinet space. I love it. It's really cozy. Absolutely. Look at that bed area. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Huge bed, mm -hmm. practical cabinets, amazing bathroom. Yeah. Look at that. And I think uh, this TV, you can actually pull it out um, and angle it however you want it so everybody can see it. That's, so that's amazing. Awesome. Nice. Ultimate of prototypes, a whole new floor plan straight for 2023. <laughs> we had a fantastic time here at the 2023 RV Super Show here in Tampa, Florida. Lots of different rigs, lots of different layouts, huge technology we had no idea about. We're glad that we could share these prototypes with you guys. We hope you enjoyed it just as much as us, so we'll see you next time. Yep. Oh, I think you need to come over here. I gotta come over here. Oh, suck it in. Are, are you in Chest screen out. or off screen? That's so far away. <laughs> okay. I am so glad that we were here to make sure that I'm not covered in dust. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let her take it. Yes. So we're here. We're here. <laughs> not there. We're, we're here. here. <laughs> it's closing time. There's yes. no one here. No. This is what industry day's for. We closed down the place. <laughs> They're all like, Lee and Pam's back there. Bye. <laughs> I know, it's like, do I smell bad? <laughs>